Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained in the way of righteousness. Society thinks that when you get to the ripe age of 96, you are supposed to slow down your life. Well, the story I am going to tell you is not that case. My great-grandma Norma is a little lady of the age of 96 and as active as ever. She was born in 1919. She was born and raised on a farm. She is very active in the community that, and she brings joy to everyone that crosses her path. I am Taylor Smith and I'm going to tell you of, of my great-grandma Norma and the role I'm going to play is great-grandchild. Growing up on a farm was hard back in the 1900s. She was born into a family of six girls and three boys. All the boys of the family passed away at birth, including her twin brother, Norman. Without having the brothers on the farm, she got to know the ins and outs of the farm they ran. This included milking the cows and bringing the milk and eggs into town every day. She was Younger, when she was younger, she was involved in many activities. She enjoyed being part of her local church, which she is still active in her faith to this day. She also went to the hall in Blaisdell and danced the night away. She loved helping people, as you could tell. Because of this love, she became a school teacher. She is involved in many activities in Stanley. Some of these activities include playing piano at the nursing home, playing rhythm band. She is also in charge of the chapel at the nursing home. When she had her license, she would drive her friends to Minot for their doctor's appointments. The award that my grandma got was for volunteering. She has been volunteering to different events for years. That is something to be proud of and be awarded to. When people heard that she won this award, they were not surprised at all. She has worked her butt off all her life, and she deserves to be recognized for her many talents that she obtained. I can't think of anyone else to earn this award like this. She is a big part of my life. I have always enjoyed spending time with her. From babysitting me while my parents worked, and for helping me with my homework when I didn't have a clue what was going on. She has shaped me into the woman I am today. She is a person that everyone in my family goes to for life advice. She is the one who told me not to stress over guys and to let the right guy walk into my life. I have always followed the advice that my great grandma has given me. She is the light in our lives that we cherish every moment that we are around her. I'm going to leave you today with a quote. Live in such a way that if anyone could, should speak badly of you, no one would believe it. 